This test is for the hand-loaded spear semi-wad cutter hollow point 158 grain hand loaded with 15.3 grains of H110 in a federal case using CCI 550 Magnum small pistol primers. Test gun was my carry gun again, the uh, Model 27, six and a half inch barrel. Velocities were 1,259 feet per second, 1,250 feet per second, 1,224 feet per second, 1,265 feet per second, and 1,313 feet per second. Penetration depths, 17 and a quarter inch, 18 and a half inch. Um, the, third, uh, the last bullet actually went low and hit the board and fragmented, so we're not going to get a clear test of it. Um, it fragmented somewhere uh, about the uh, 17 inch mark. It penetrated a final 20 inch. And then two bullets which may have uh, uh, fragmented, I do not know at this time till I dig into the block, penetrate the 26 and a half inch and 29 inch may have fragmented or failed to expand. The bullet that penetrated the 26 and a half inches fragmented first at 14 and a half inches with a 20 grain fragment. It later lost a further 6.3 grains at 16 inch, finally shedding a further 19 grain piece at 25 and a half inches, right before it came to a stop, leaving a core of 110.3 grains that came to rest at 26 and a half inch. The largest final expanded uh, head of the core was 0.361 inch. The bullet that penetrated to 29 inches had a large fragment loss at 21 inch, weighing in at 45.8 grains. Final core was 111.9 grains. Maximum expansion after shredding the large segment was 0.362. Weighed together, the final weight is 157.8 grain. This bullet may be considered it failed due to over penetration. However, the fragmentation did not occur until after over penetration, so it's it can be considered uh, excellent expansion and penetration up until that point. The bullet that penetrated the 20 inch later hit the board at approximately 16 inch and fragmented, losing its mushroom. Combined, they produce a weight of 156.5 grains together. The core is 110.1 grain. One fragment is 20.2, and the other one 21, 26.1 grains. And I believe this one would have performed well if it hadn't have struck the board and uh, broken its mushroom. The bullet that penetrated to 18 and a half inch at a minimum expansion at a divot of 0.560 inch. Maximum expansion was 0.590 inch. Retained weight was 156.9 grains. Bullet that penetrated to 17 and a quarter inch at a minimum expansion of 0.561 inch and a maximum expansion of 0.594 inch and a retained weight of 157 grains.
permanent stretch cavity maxed out at around three quarter inch for all five cavities. There was some evidence of permanent stretch in some of the channels out to nearly 16 inch, 10 inch for the most part, and significant permanent stretch out to about 10 inches. Two bolts expanded nicely and penetrated nicely. One fragmented after it uh, deviated off its path and hit the board and fragmented on the board and one fragmented beginning at 14 inch and another be did begin to uh, fragment until well into the second block.